Look at that. So different size shapes. And, and it traps them in the plant digests them and actually eats the insect. Lights out for the fly. Get out. Smell. <laughs> hey guys, David Fine here from Keys Moths. Uh, I'm sitting here with my, my bromeliad. It's a bird of paradise, white bird of paradise. It's not a native, uh, but this is pretty much the extent of my gardening expertise. Uh, just putting a, a thing that grows very, very easily in my yard. <laughs> if it doesn't grow easily, I have a hard time. I struggle with my green thumb. I'm trying to get it green. It's more of a yellowish uh, shade. But guys, in our last video, um, we were at my friend Robert Berger's house taking these yucca giant skipper caterpillars out of these yucca nests. And we explained in excruciating detail the entire life history of the yucca skipper. And it's a long video, but we had so much extra cool footage from Robert's uh, uh, house and all the things that he has going on that we decided that we would make a completely new video and just show you some of the crazy things that he has growing in his house up in uh, Okeechobee, Florida. So uh, actually Loxahatchee, Florida. So guys, uh, check out this video as we go and explore all the things that Robert Berger has growing in his house. And it's a lot harder to grow than this bird of paradise flower. So check this out guys. Oh, it, by the way, don't forget to like the video, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications because we're going to get you more videos like this when we post them. This one's a little out of the norm, guys. It's not so much about butterflies as it is about what cool things and cool um, ways you can use your property to grow cool stuff, grow some produce and farm things even in urban South Florida. So guys, check this out. All right, so Lorenzo, Robert is an interesting guy because he's got all kinds of things going on. And this is in his garage. Do you think mommy would allow me to have this in our garage, Lorenzo? Probably not. Probably not. Well, we, our, he has a lot bigger of a garage than we do, but. Robert, what are these guys? These are black Oscar lost chickens we hatched from the flock out back. All right. I so, have a, a few chickens that I have that I use. Get eggs, rural right? Loxahatchee to get eggs from. Rural Loxahatchee. And it works out okay because I I um I have a neighbor that comes down and purchases all my extra eggs. So they pretty much pay he pays for all the feed for them. So I get free eggs. Free eggs and it's fun, I'm sure. Yeah, oh, it's fun, yeah. <laughs> cool man. Alright, we're gonna go get one more. Crush that leaf and tell me what it smells like. Mm, mint, kind of. Kind of? Crush it some more. Crush it up good. Mm, it smells like cinnamon. It, it is. is. That's that's a cinnamon tree. That's cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Good call, dude. And you, I wish cameras could smell. <laughs> no, they don't. Uh, but this is a cinnamon tree. How cool is that? And now how do you actually get the cinnamon powder? Is that from the... That's actually, you come in here during the summer and cut off a branch like this. Okay. And then peel off this outer bark and then you, uh, the outer bark will come off and you actually got the, it's, the cinnamon is a bark, uh, the inner bark. The inner bark. So the powder that you get is, is ground the inner, sticks. The inner bark, the ground sticks right. of and this that's tree. Reason, that's the reason why when you actually buy, go to the store and buy cinnamon sticks, they're kind of rolled up. Oh. Up here, they'll dry and roll. Cool. Cinnamon tree, Lorenzo, what do you think? That's cool. Was that a neat little surprise? Yeah. You ever think cinnamon would come from a big tree like this? No. Well, you like your bromeliads. Oh, there's a pipeline, uh, polydamus thing. Pineapple. Those are all pineapples. pineapples. Yeah, look, Lorenzo. Check it out. You can do all kinds of stuff with your property from growing pineapples to giant skippers. <laughs> uh, oh, cool. Ginger. Ginger. All right. 
looks like squash of some yeah, sort. Yeah, yeah, you see them. There's why we have moth problems. Yep. All that damage is done by a moth. Oh, moths. Yeah, I know. Moths get a bad rap. And I guess in this case, they deserve it. They deserve it. <laughs> cool. And which, what do we got here? That's an, uh, is that Jackfruit. an avocado? Huh? Jackfruit. Jackfruit. All right. Okay. And this is an, is this an, a broadleaf oak? This is a Shermark oak, I believe. All right. One of the, the, the only, one of the few that you can actually grow in Florida. That you, if you look right up here, it's actually got the, the spiny, uh, the deep lobe leaves on it. Yep. So they're kind of hard to grow in, but some of the Himalaya that we get down here. Yeah. So chocolate, Lorenzo. You want to see how chocolate comes? Wow. Robert, check this out. Show us, show us what we got here. Uh, this is one of my chocolate trees. Here's a chocolate pod that's ready. Yeah. Uh, a green chocolate pod right there before it gets starts getting things. Yeah. Um, this tree does not have any flowers on it. Here's a here's a younger younger pod. There's some younger pods right through. Oh, here. look at that! Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Right. And and I see some some old pods down the bottom. Yeah, that had fallen off. I didn't get it harvested in time. Sophia would be very upset with that because she is a big chocolate fan. Yeah. You, um, we can actually go back and look at the other one, but we may be able to see some chocolate flowers. <laughs> at Butterfly World, my tenure there, we had some chocolate plants and those. Oh, look at the pitcher plants, Lorenzo. Guess what these are? I just said it pitcher plant and do you know what is special about a pitcher plant like a yeah but also this is a really neat one you can see it's got the spines on the lid there oh yeah so lorenzo check out the pitcher plant has a smell that attracts insects and nectar sometimes and nectar and when they get in here there's a liquid inside of there and it traps them and the plant digests them and actually eats the insects oh wow so it's actually kind of like a predatory plant of sorts. And you got some some different pitcher plants here. Yeah, those are the four different, there's four different Nepenthes here. Oh, how cool is that? Yeah, so you see this is, a, this is a different one as well. Look at the pitcher plant. And now they smell. No, there's no smell. There's, there's no mainly, smell. Mainly nectar, it's they got nectar. like a, the sweetness there. Cool. But um, that one, this one doesn't really have as good pictures on it right now. Oh yeah, there's a big one. There's a big one in there. Oh, that's that's a baby. It's a baby. There's some uh, a mango tree in full bloom, guys. These are baby mangoes right here. And there's a bunch of flies and wasps and things that are pollinating. Give us our fruit, guys. Look at that. Look at all the flies and bees, wasps doing their thing. Give us some good good mango fruit. And the other tree, I don't see them, but the other mango tree over there, when it blooms, I get Adela come to it. Do you really? That's the only butterfly I ever see on it. It's the Adela. They like it. But here are the, the, the flowers, chocolate oh, flowers. Chocolate flowers. All right, we're going to give Sophia a trivia quiz, Lorenzo. Okay. And we're going to ask her what kind of flower this is. This is actually a chocolate flower. Yeah. How cool is that? And you see how they're all born on woody stems. Yep. The flowers actually come right off the woody stem, yep. and they turn into those big fruit. Here's a different colored one. Yeah. Look at that. So different size, shapes. And you take the beans out of there. And ferment them. Ferment them. And, and then you got to add all kinds of stuff to make it taste like chocolate, correct? Right. Some sugar <laughs> and some vanilla and a few things. Now, like what's that. going on? Is these, are these weevils that are doing this? Saronkin weevils doing that. Saronkin yeah. weevils. That's not. Those aren't good. Those are not good. They are not good. Another beetle pest. Yep. A beetle pest. <laughs> yep. All right, Lorenzo, come on, buddy. Okay, folks, so I'm here with my daughter. As Hola. promised, as promised in our video, we promised that we would give Sophia a quiz, a trivia quiz. Sophia, what type of flower do you think this is? Let's see if you can study it and that? tell me. Yeah. That's a butterfly. No, no, it's a flower. Take, take a closer look. What type of flower do you think? I'm in the process of editing my video, guys. It takes a long time to put these together. That's Lorenzo, you were there. When we, don't say it. You were there when we were filming this. Oh, I remember. Yeah, it's yeah. not a flower. It's a flower. It's a flower. It's a flower. It comes right off the stem of the tree. And we promise, because this is a flower, that you would be very, very upset if this flower did not exist. 
<laughs> flower? What type of flower? <laughs> What's the matter, Lorenzo? I remember. remember? It's so funny. You would be very, very upset. If this, upset? You would be, Sarcastically? No, 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 no. serious. Serious. Seriously, serious. Sophia, you would personally... What is your number one favorite food to eat? Look at, look at, no, okay, no more hints. I don't have a favorite food. Oh, you do. No, <laughs> you do. Oh, you do. Take a closer look. Look again, think real hard. You would, what, what, if, if this food did not exist? What? Chocolate. That's it. Yeah, ding, 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 ding. Sophia, that is a chocolate fruit flower where we get chocolate from. No, it's not. It is. Isn't that awesome? Sophia, how much did that surprise you? I thought, I really thought that was a moth. <laughs> Look at it, it's the It wings. does, it looks like it has wings. It does. That's, Sophia, thank you for being a good sport and having this awesome little piece Now you of want trivia. me chocolate. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, Look at these, these big, are... long pitcher plants, dude. Oh, let me see that. And that's a small one from this plant. How cool is that? That's a small one. Yeah, they usually are bigger than that. And what's the purpose of the little hairs? I don't know why that is. Huh. It may be to help hold them up in grass and stuff. Maybe. Oh, look at that. They are cool. That's a cool flower. And these guys will eat up some insects. You see, they're coming all sorts of shapes, sizes, from stuff like this. And you got all kinds of stuff growing. Yeah. Are these all? These are pitchers too, huh? Yeah, that's a, that's one of the native Florida ones. Right that's there. a native Florida pitcher plant. Yep. How about that? Species. Then you get stuff that looks like this. Oh wow. They're not in their best color. They're somewhat in dormancy right now. Now this is not an attempt at uh, fly control, is it? This is an attempt to grow in a plant that I like to grow. Okay, just a hobby. <laughs> just a oh, hobby. Lorenzo, look at this one. So do you know what this plant is? Oh. That's a cool plant too. Hey, Robert, why don't you sundew. tell us That's sundew. A sundew? It's got all this. See how the little little stickiness to the leaves? Yeah. Little little uh, sticky it'll trap stuff. really small insects in there, and then slowly digest them on the leaf there. Excellent. So. And is that is that the same thing with uh, this guy right here? Those there's one's a linearis and one's rotundifolia, I believe. They're two different species. Two different species. Yep. But that's these are honeydew plants. Yep. Sundews, honeydews. So cool. You got all the, he's got all the predatory plants. Yeah. That's fun. You don't have a Venus flytrap, do you? Yeah, right here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, look at that. Several he's different He's got them. He's got them. Lorenzo, fly goes in there and it is lights out for what the fly. Nothing too much. Not much. No. So Here, you wanna you wanna take a you wanna take a chance? How would we um, take care of this, Robert? That um, the biggest thing I can tell you is rainwater or distilled water. Okay. It does not like no sink chlorine. Water. All right. Well, no chlorine, but the the water we get out of mostly around here is too alkaline. Oh, okay. And it, it likes it, but rainwater. Um, if you had um, some type of, they could like a pot. Yeah. That, well, see. Helen's growing them right in here. You can't really see it in there, but it's a little terrarium. Okay. They do good in terrarium. They'll probably like um, mostly full sun, but it's going to have to have some place where it's going to get some really good humidity. Okay. So if you can find some kind of, even like a, if you could put a quart jar or something like that and get it inside a quart jar or some other type of thing like that where it can sit in. Okay. Usually Very cool. This time of year, not this time of year, but most of the rest of the time of year, there'll be a little bit of water sitting here. That way they get a lot of humidity. Yeah. And so now, and they don't need uh, insects to live, right? No, they don't. They do better when they have some insects to live, but they catch, you, if you, just even if you look down some of these bigger ones, it, there is a little bit of, even now, there's a little bit of insects little, down there. A little insect life down there? Right, or a little Can dead insect life down there. Dead insect, uh, the, the remains of insects. Yeah. How cool. Oh, yeah. And if we cut that off at the bottom and dissected it, we'd probably, you'd be surprised how many insects you find in there. Too. All right. Very but anyway, cool. just a few of the... Few of the Excellent. Things. Well, thanks for showing us all the pitcher yeah. plants and stuff. That's very, very cool. All right, guys. So as you can see, Robert is an ex extraordinary guy. He's got all kinds of stuff. We didn't even scratch the surface of all the things that he's got growing. 
uh, everywhere from chocolate trees to cinnamon trees to herb gardens to pineapples and all those cool predatory plant predatory plants guys uh, pitcher plants honeydew plants and uh, the venus flytrap guys but hope you liked the video don't forget to subscribe like and share the video and um, comment down below what you'd like for us to do what south florida butterfly or moth or adventure it doesn't even have to be butterflies or moths we we love fishing we love exploring south florida guys if there's something that you'd like to see a video episode on in south florida uh comment down below what would you like for us to go uh hunt for next down in south florida but guys hope to see you next time let's get out there and enjoy south florida take care